Fourth weekend of the MLS season, and each Monday we'll take a look back at some of the most controversial moments of the weekend. I'm Brian Dunseth, and this is Instant Replay. We start at RFK Stadium, and it's the home side DC United already down 3 0 in a wild 10 minutes that saw referee Juan Carlos Rivero overlook an Aaron Guillen lunge. Guillen, making his MLS debut, was very, very lucky the referee didn't point to the spot, which I think he could have and should have. That was the 63rd minute. This time it's Sean Franklin making a cutting run across the back four of FC Dallas and a perfectly weighted ball from Nick DeLeon. Again, it's the MLS debutant Aaron Guillen lunging at the attacker and catching the top of the right foot of Franklin. What makes this deceptive is Franklin is trying to fight through the studs on his foot to continue the opportunity to play the ball. When he goes down two or three steps later, it seems at first it's either a makeup call or it's a referee hesitating to see if there's an advantage to be played. There's definite contact by Guillen, and I think it's the right decision by the referee to award the penalty on this individual play. And after Chris Seitz saves Fabiana Spindle his penalty, the FCD goalkeeper outlets to Michael Barrios on the near side to spark an FC Dallas counterattack. DC United's Marcelo Sarvas, who had picked up a yellow card in the 37th minute for unsporting behavior, recognizes the threat and quickly looks to break the counter. Sarvas doesn't get to the ball in time and leaves his right hand up to make contact with Barrios to slow him down, knowing that he's been beaten. I think he means to make contact with Barrios, but not sure he tries the great Barrios across the face. But in MLS, hand to face when spotted, you run the risk of the referee handing out a red card based on the referee's discretion. See Hamas and Olave versus Fernando Adi last week in Portland. Out to Yankee Stadium where the New England Revolution would find themselves down a man in the 51st minute when referee Ricardo Salazar shows Gershon Kofi straight red for his tackle on NYC FC's Tommy McNamara. It all starts with a long ball out of the back for the home side. And as Gershon Kofi tries to settle the ball with his chest, with pressure being applied from Poku, and as Poku lays the ball off backwards for McNamara, Kofi continues to defend through. McNamara's first touch is with his left, and as he tries to get the ball off his feet, Kofi lunges outstretched with his right to play the ball. But Kofi misses the ball and catches the outside of McNamara's right ankle with studs showing. Harsh? Maybe. But MLS consistent. See Kyle Beckerman's tackle on Fernando Adi last week. Up to BC Place in Vancouver as the Whitecaps would take three points at home. And it wouldn't be without some controversy. In the 22nd minute, Kakuta Mane's service is overhit to the back post. And with Vancouver's Masato Kudo getting goal side of the Dynamo's Jaleel Anibaba, there's enough contact between the two for referee David Gantar to not hesitate to point to the spot. But is there any contact? In an ideal situation, Anibaba would be goal side. But with Mana's ball over hit, not only is Masato Kudo not going to get there anyways, but it looks to me Kudo's playing for the penalty and pulling up the landing gear in hopes the referee points to the spot. That's exactly what Gantar does. And for me, this isn't a penalty. And finally, back to RFK Stadium for one more look at the Maxi Aruti goal that didn't make air, but made the TV melt. In real time, Taylor Kemp and Bobby Boswell throw their hands up to indicate to the referees that Aruti handled the ball on FC Dallas's third goal. As Aruti looks to body off Kemp with his left arm, he uses his left hand to settle the ball back across for a first-time finish. Too tough to see in real time, but a call missed in a highly explosive second half at RFK Stadium. That's all for this week. What do you think? Let us know using the hashtag instant replay and in the comments below. I'm Brian Dunseth. See you next week.